Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create UI alert controller. Okay, my Xcode is up and running and this is going to be an iOS application and uh, for this example I will use single view application. Click on next, uh, product name. I will give um, um, UI alert view example to this um, product organization name is my name uh, organization identifier this is your um, reverse domain name um, language important language is Swift I'm not using objective C for this example devices uh, I'm going to use iPhone and I'm not going to use uh, use core data so leave this blank next choose folder where you want to save this uh, project and uh, click on create okay um, Xcode has just created uh, a project for me on the left side we have a uh, navigator I will select main storyboard and our very first view controller is on the screen on the right side we have utilities area so I want to uh, customize my view controller a little bit so I'll select it um, select it uh, on the left side in the utilities area I will um, adjust the size a little bit I will choose iPhone 4 inches okay now it's looking better okay and to uh, trigger UI alert controller I will use uh, UI button so from the object um, library I will um, find there um, a button so I'll type button it will filter out all objects uh, and will leave find button for me I'll drag and drop it into my UI view controller and on the right side again from the utilities area I will change the label of this button to something like uh, show UI alert yeah something very simple okay I need to give it a little more room so the title fits well okay almost done okay now we need to uh, write some code uh, and to write code I need to open an assistant editor okay I click here open an assistant editor I have too many panels visible so I will hide my navigator I don't need it at this moment and I um, can actually hide um, utilities panel as well okay uh, next that we need to do we need to um, connect uh, our uh, button uh, insert an outlet and we actually we need an action so to insert an action um, for this button we uh, hold control button and then drag and drop on this blue line onto our view controller and connection type should not be outlet it should be action so I'll select action here and we can give it a name um, I will use um, show alert button tapped uh, it's an action so I connect it now here I can start typing my code okay to create an alert controller I will um, create a variable you call it my alert equals UI alert um, controller and here uh, we need title oh, auto auto uh, suggestion and it should be a string um, alert message um, okay so any alert that 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 you create should have a title and the message and the message um, can be anything uh, from, are you sure you want to delete this um, um, are you sure you want to leave this view so um, I will use are you sure preferred style um, so I will um, UI alert 
again from Auto UI controller style and we will choose there two to select from action sheet and alert uh, we will select alert um, and um, we will actually show maybe have a look at how alert and action sheet differ from each other okay so we have an alert controller created okay one extra uh, now uh, Alert controller ha can have, um, should have at least uh, one button, like for example, OK, that user can tap on and alert message will uh, uh, disappear. So um, to create a button, we need to create an alert action. So first uh, button that we will add to this uh, alert view will be an OK button. So I'll call it uh, OK action equals UI alert action and just like with alert controller it should have a title and our title will be uh, okay and UI alert action style we will choose uh, a default Okay, and yes, we need to create a handler and basically handler is what's going to happen when user taps on a button. So uh, we will create an action and um, we don't really have any business logic so I will simply output um, a line to a debugger area to see that it works uh, okay button tapped again uh, this can be any uh, business logic you can uh, you, you need for your app okay so this is um, one button now um, this button um, is created but it's not added, we need to add it to our alert view controller. So I need to add it to my alert view. Add action and then, okay, action. Okay, we added action and the last we need to actually, uh, for this um, uh, alert controller to be visible, we need to present it. Um, presented uh, to users so we uh, see my alert animated yes I want it to be animated um, I, I mean animated true and uh, completion um, no I'll set it to new I don't really need it to do anything um, after it is presented so I'll simply use new okay now um, I think we're done with this very simple example. Let's run it. I click on uh, run button. It's building our project and um, when you run your project for the very first time it's going to take a little longer for a simulator to start up. So we will uh, wait a few seconds but the next time you run it it will be a lot a lot faster. Okay, so we have a splash screen and a button. Okay, I tap on this button and we have an alert. Are you sure? I say okay and alert disappears. And um, uh, have a look at this um, line here. It's uh, the back area. I have okay button top printed right after I on, on our button. Okay, so let's add um, another button which we'll call cancel uh, cancel action. It's going to be an alert action with the title cancel and um, alert action style will be cancel as well. And when 
user taps on this button we will output console button tap very good so we will um, stop simulator and run it again okay our application is up and running I tap on the button and I have oh yes it's still one because we did not add an action to our alert my alerts add action cancel action okay let's run it again see how fast it starts up again um, tap on the button and we have OK and cancel when I click on cancel it disappears and we get cancel button tapped output to a uh, debugger area well alert view can actually have more than two buttons uh, we can easily create another button let's say for example that's going to be um, destructive action uh, there is another type of actions um, and we will say for example delete delete this yes delete this and alert action style is going to be destructive destructive um, action will um, look different um, to a user it's going to be a different color and basically it should tell user that this is uh, a destructive action and then uh, if and if user taps on um, for example if confirms taps on yes delete this application will do something destructive like delete this file or send an HTTP request to delete records from the database so uh, let's have a look how this will actually um, be displayed um, on, on our screen so we say delete button tapped and yes we need to add it we will add it in the middle well action the cancel button will actually be always at the bottom so um, I didn't need to insert it in between but just to keep things organized better Okay, action, destructive action, and cancel actions. Okay, action, destructive action, and cancel action. Okay, we stop our simulator, we run it again. Build succeeded, splash screen, and here we go. Our button is ready. Show. Okay, we have an alert title, our message, are you sure? And we have three buttons here. Okay button, yes, delete this, and cancel. Have a look how. Uh, destructive action style is uh, different from a default for example and is different from console okay I think this is it for um, this video we have an alert controller um, working I hope this video was helpful and if it was please um, please uh, tap on uh, like button subscribe to my channel because this will tell me that you like this video it was helpful and will give me motivation inspiration to create um, other videos like this or even better thank you